Hey, it's Cal Ewing here, and uh, in this video, I want to talk a little bit about uh, establishing the property value, the value of the collateral, when you're doing your due diligence prior to buying a mortgage note. Um, I just had a deal that I had a offer accepted on. Um, it was a residential property, a note secured to it, a first lien, uh, non-performing note. Uh, I had my bid accepted. And um, I based my initial offer or bid on the value that was provided by the note seller. And the property value provided by the note seller was really just the Zillow Zestimate value. Now, most of you guys probably know out there, don't ever use the Zestimate as your primary source for figuring out the value of a property. Sometimes the Zestimate is very close and very accurate and it gives you a good number. And other times it can be extremely inaccurate and very far off. So here's an example. Um, so when I analyzed the initial numbers provided by the note seller, they had the value of the property at 170,000 based on the Zillow Zestimate. And then as part of my procedure for establishing value and part of my due diligence prior to buying a note, um, I ordered a broker price opinion. And so a real estate agent uh, compiled that for me in the local market and they came back with an as is value of that asset at 50 to 55,000. <laughs> so in that particular case, the note seller and Zillow was $120,000 off on the value of that property. Okay. So if I would have just relied on Zillow and the numbers provided by the note seller, which is the same number, I would have been extremely, <laughs> I would have paid way, 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 way too much for that note uh, because the value of the asset securing that note is actually far lower than what I would have estimated, okay? So I could have gotten myself in a lot of trouble had I not known better and just used the Zestimate value, the Zillow value when doing my due diligence. So the moral of this story is if you are buying a note or if you're buying a property, the Zestimate is a nice place to start. It's a good thing to look at when you're running your preliminary numbers, trying to figure out maybe what to offer, maybe doing a little bit of digging around to f see what property values are in the area. But before you close, when you're in your due diligence period, make sure you are getting either a CMA, comparative market analysis, or a broker price opinion from a realtor you can trust in the local market or even an appraisal if needed to figure out the actual value of that property before you either buy the property or you buy the note. Hope that's useful. I'm Cal Ewing. Talk to you in the next video.